hello everyone welcome to techie gear channel uh, in this video we are going to short uh, short video maybe uh, but let's see how it goes so we are going to see performance testing so maybe many would have uh, heard about performance like uh, server side performance response time latency using jmeter and uh, some other tools but this is purely client side performance okay so which client we are going to do a test so actually we are going to check for mobile application and mobile device performance so if it is mobile device performance what are all the thing we are uh, uh, we will test so that's what we are going to see it here so for that purpose i have opened a uh, emulator actually uh, there is there is i'm just using emulator in this uh, you can use real device also or you can use emulator also okay for example if i want to test for a uh, times of india I, i already installed one application times of india so uh, use while using times of india how much cpu and uh, ram memory is used so when it is in foreground how much is you how much is used when uh, the app is in background how much memory or cpu is used so that's that's what actually a client side performance even when we are doing a server side performance even though we see all uh, uh, response time latency throughput many thing but uh, our actual target is to see the back end server ka cpu and memory utilization and uh, usage if it is uh, crossing more than our uh, uh, our like target then we have to see like where it gone wrong from the app side or infra side something like that so similar way the client side also we can check cpu memory if it is mobile application we can check the battery that is like power also okay uh, let's this this for this purpose we are going to use a uh, emulator and uh, like for using emulator you need android studio should be installed sdk should be set up then you can create a emulator okay so this is a uh, predefined like uh, stuff Uh, if you have a doubt of android setup maybe you can check uh, somewhere in our uh, uh, videos uh, apm mobile app automation or something android setup is there you can watch videos okay just install android studio and uh, just follow the process it will ask you to install jdk also once you install jdk you can open the android studio and uh, in create device you can select uh, anything and click on next you can see available or you can download then click next you can finish it it will be created that's it so it will be created simple so already i have created and running this one right so that one we can use okay uh, before that <coughs> android studio itself there is a profiler there is a, a option called profiler so once if, if the device is rooted if it is real device it should be root android idb root you have to do and uh, if it is emulator it will it will just show here and uh, uh, other as of now your application should be debuggable for example if you are testing some application that is your own product right so you can ask developer debuggable application and then uh, it will show the package here once you install as of now it shows a uh, system ui let's 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 just use click on system ui so what exactly will happen the complete uh, uh, system let me uh, <coughs> this whole system is there right so the system ui ka system ui itself one application right that package i have selected so <coughs> sorry so whatever you do everything see you can see it here uh, maybe i'll move it here so whenever you do some action uh, the cpu will be increased if you are ideal the cpu will be nothing okay see you, you can see the cpu similar way if it is a uh, if you if if you are able to see the times of india package name you can see the memory as well as uh, uh, cpu okay when you click cpu how much is the other other system is using 73% app is using only 3% so all the stuff you can see it here okay uh, now maybe we can directly uh, this is inbuilt one actually okay uh, one more thing we can cpu detach live okay i'll uh, let me stop it let me stop this this is inbuilt one you can see how much percentage how much is the cpu uh, foreground and background okay if 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 application is not rooted what to do how do i check it okay so let me open the uh, emulator 
let me open the emulator so i want to know the package name just open the thing and go to logcat i think you can see here toi something like that just copy this okay just paste it here for reference okay <clears throat> so all the logs uh, uh, will be coming here actually so whatever the application you are opening and whatever package name you have mentioned so whenever you use the logs will be printed here if any error also you can see it here this is something else like uh, so now we are going to check the cpu okay so i'll just open terminal so the terminal i am just taking it here uh, this is okay what command you have to enter to see the cpu adb shell top enter see uh, maybe you can make it bigger okay so you can see right com dot ty dot reader so this one is using 38 percent because you just opened it one screen and when i'm scrolling you can see it's 54 it's 117 percentage but uh, what is this 117 it's more than 100 percentage you can see but actual available is 400 percent cpu which means four core the maybe the emulator you can say maybe four cpu you can say are four core which means 400 percentage out of 400 percentage it it goes to 29 to 73 uh, 73 it's it's now is 50 whenever you are using this much okay scrolling is goes not more than that 153 also when i go to another page and i'll just open uh, some other a uh, stuff 86 some ad is coming okay let me open some page when you are uh, opening and uh, just scrolling it goes to 90 percentage okay and uh, maybe what we can do we'll go to live news something like that go to live news and just click on breaking news this is go max it go to 42 or 80 that much only very less okay so i just want to check how much it goes for videos okay there is a video tab uh, i'll just open some video and see here it is 62 percentage 61 Uh, 41 it's it's very less only so video also not maybe this is big this is four core right so there is one more video is playing so when you are scrolling the video page also it's very less okay now it's foreground now i am going to background not closing it putting into background and see the uh, times of india it is seven percentage it's now i don't oh yeah it is four percentage it is three percentage it is two percentage so background it's it's very less that's what our expectation even after putting if it is taking too much for example 50 60 then your uh, memory also will be used and uh, memory also here see percentage of memory is used is 11 percentage it's mentioned here and uh, there is another way like uh, how much exactly the ram is used so for that purpose we need the package name and uh, go to terminal one more tab adb shell term dumps is mem info the package name if you give it will give you the data like this in this this is the total pss is the total ram used by the app which means 407 this is a kb actually so if you convert into mb it will be 407 mb okay 
so approximately you can say 400 mb it got used when it when you are using more and more it will be uh, like utilizing more ram actually okay so after using 407 right run once again it will be 463 if you are in foreground and using more it will be continuously increasing okay so uh let me go to another page another page another page another page and run another again 458 it's reduced okay so it will vary so uh, but if you want to see the top command also and meminfo you can write into some file and see whole data okay maybe that we can see in the next video but this is the overall idea how you can check the app performance of uh, like uh, client side performance of cpu this is about a ram memory okay and uh, battery cycle which is uh, another big process that we can see something like if you guys like video and let me know if you really need the battery stuff also okay that also we will do there is a tools also for batteries and all uh, uh restart after shutdown and all like like after complete uh, uh uh shut down and start how much is the percentage then after using how much is the percentage based on that we can just see the power consumption so the as of now adb shell top is for cpu and uh, uh the command maybe adb shell dumps is meminfo uh and package name for meminfo after when you are giving meminfo that command the output will be written like this in the total pss is in kb this is a mb if you convert into mb it will be 458 mb is the ram after using 10 minutes or 15 minutes you can give this ram and uh, cpu percentage also put into background and monitor so is it really consuming uh, more cpu so it's consuming 20% 23% now i don't know some notification is running or not so these are all we need to note down and ask uh, developer why it still it's consuming more than 10 percentage but 10 percentage is still very less uh, out of 400 percentage okay 10 percentage is not out of 100 percentage out of 400 percentage so remaining uh, the, i think 300 percent is ideal only 36 percent used by the system so it complete 17 percent used by the uh, uh, user you can say okay that's it guys this is about uh, client side performance which we can check cpu and memory uh, like uh, about android device when you are checking some android applications okay okay guys thanks for watching if you have any doubt please put into comments also please refer some adb commands adb devices these are the stuff we need to check before bye bye